Um, briefly, I'll be speaking on the death of the righteous. The death of the righteous. Let's look at the book of Numbers, chapter 23, verse 10. Who can count the dust of Jacob and the number of the fourth part of Israel? Let me die the death of the righteous, and let my last end be like his. I'd like you to know that there is a way righteous people die. A righteous person does not die anyhow. Better still, a righteous person is not permitted to die anyhow. A righteous, you know, you can't just be walking on the way and then the building will collapse on you and you will die. That's not the death of a righteous. You can't die because you are eating food, you know, you are eating poison inside a particular food. Okay, uh, our brother died of food poisoning. Food poisoning? That's not the death of a righteous. Are you there? That's not the death of a righteous person. There is a, there is a way righteous people die. They don't die anyhow. There's something we call the death of the righteous. Are you there? You can't, you can't just go and hang yourself. Oh, he died by, you know, yes, he committed suicide. Suicide? That's not the death of the righteous. Are you there? The death of a righteous person is usually glorious. The righteous does not die anyhow. There is a way they die that makes their hand desirable. Are you there? The death of a righteous man is always desirable because it is, there's no stress involved. There's no stress. It's not, it's not that a, a, an arm robber came to the house and shot him. That's not the death of the righteous. Are you there? In the Bible, people that followed God, people that served God, before they die, they will gather their children, tell them things about the future, and even bless them before they, before they go to meet the Lord. That is the death of the righteous. Before you die, there are things you will have done. Even God will have given you certain notice. Oh, my son, anywhere from now, I'll be taking you. You will create a notice. That's the death of the righteous. The death of the righteous has a desirable head. The death of the righteous is desirable. Are you there? Not that somebody just died on the way. They don't even know he has died. Until some days when the body is now decaying, the head is smell, they went to the place. That's not the death of the righteous. You get on it. As a child of God, I want you to understand that you are not supposed to die anyhow. There is something we call the death of the righteous. Every righteous person is an honorable, and their death is also honorable. It, it, they, 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 they have a, 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 a kind of end that is desirable. Let me die the death of the righteous, and let my end be like his. That was what Prophet Balaam said when he looked at the 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 the, the, the formation of the Israelites. When he when he checked the Israelites and he saw the presence of God in their midst, he had no choice than to confess. He said, "Let me die the death of the righteous, and let my end be like his." If you want your end to be desirable, then. You need to die the death of what? Of the righteous. I'm not saying you have to die now. But I'm saying when it is your time to go, you will go honorably. There is a way to die. I hope you get it. The righteous is that man who is rightly positioned before the Lord. Such man will always have a desirable end. Are you there? The death of the righteous. Now, you know, there are two parameters for you to judge if a particular death is the death of the righteous or not. The first one is how they die. And the second one is what happened after they died. Those are the two parameters. Are you there? Now, take for instance, how did Stephen die? Stephen died by stone. Oh, that's so horrible. But what did the death of Stephen give birth to? On the strength of that death, the Lord had to arrest Saul. Saul that became Apostle Paul, who later became a big blessing to the body of Christ. So that means the death of Stephen produced Paul, that we call Apostle Paul now. Are you there? That is the death of the righteous. 
Can you see that? Because of the, 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 the result of the death. Are you there? Sometimes it may look horrible. Are you there? But check the result. Are you there? So if a righteous man seems to die a kind of horrible death, no problem. Check the result of that death. If the result is such that kingdom is advanced, are you there? That death is the death of the righteous. There are people who were martyred for Christ. Some of them, their head was cut off, they were stoned to death. Some of them were used as food for lions. The question is, what happened after they died? The church of God increased. That's the death of the righteous. Are you there? So there are two parameters. I need to say this so that you will understand. How they die, one. And two, what happened after they died? Not that somebody died and people were now coming, uh, uh, this, this is his son. When he came to Kaduna, he, I was impregnated by him and this is the child. Somebody was supposed to be a child of God. Another person came from another state. Uh, uh, my name is so, so so This girl you are looking at here is the daughter of this man. That is not the death of the righteous. Are you there? The end of a righteous man is usually desirable because the finger of God is visible, you know, is visibly written on everything they leave behind. I pray that when it is your time to go, your death will be the death of the righteous in the name of Jesus. 